Hi everyone, today we're going to deal with all ratio uh, in the risk factor analysis. We will take a particular case in epidemiology in order to show you how, for example, we can use all ratio in order to analyze the, uh, the degree of dependence between a disease and a factor that can be related to this, uh, to this uh, disease. So, for the, by definition, we can uh, say that the uh, old ratio is a statistical measure mostly used in epidemiology in order to express the degree of dependence between two qualitative variables. So, in uh, old ratio analysis, we have two qualitative, qualitative variables that we are going to search for the link between the two. So, all ratio can be also defined as a ratio of old old of event that happened in the individual group A, for example, the disease with the same event happening in the group or in the individual group B. So what is old? Old is a ratio of a probability of an event and a contrary of the event. So if uh, we have a if the probability that the event happened in the group B, in the group A is P, and Q is, uh, is probability in a group B, the odd ratio is calculated as a follow. The odd of the probability that uh, the event happened in the group A and the odd of the, probab of the probability of the event in the group B so how to compute uh, really uh, the old ratio we have uh, for example uh, a, a disease that we have uh, some person that are, are affected by the disease that are in new uh, in a number so there are a person that uh, are affected by the by the disease and exposed to the to the disease B person belong uh, didn't have a disease but are exposed to the disease. So we have uh, uh, two group, the group of exposed and the group of unexposed to the disease. We have a group of affected that's called cases and we have a group of, of control that the person that didn't have a disease. So if you have this contingency table uh, uh, making, taking, uh, showing the relationship between uh, the occurrence of the disease and uh, the different and our factor that is uh, a group of uh, exposed or, or unexposed to disease. A, a group of exposed or in, uh, on, um, unexposed to the disease can be a group of male and female person. Uh, or any other uh, variable that can be used in order to express uh, the link or the dependence between uh, two variables and so the old ratio is calculated as follow we have e over c divided by b over d so we can also have uh, uh, this relationship a times d divided by b times c so in this case, the probability that uh, the disease uh, occur in the group of exposed is A divided by A plus B. And the probability that the, the disease uh, occur in the group C, in the group B, or the group of unexposed person is C, the number of person exposed in uh, Again, among disease person divided by C plus D. That's the total number of uh, exposed persons. So the odd ratio is calculated as odd of uh, uh, probability to belong to different group. That is uh, uh, the, the same relationship uh, that we, we, we show you uh, very earlier in this uh, tutorial video when we take this P and Q variable uh, of uh, 
of our proba probability to belong to the exposed and unexposed group uh, uh, among persons that uh, that uh, ha that are, are cases. So, what's the interpretation of uh, all ratio? We have uh, many uh, interpretation. When the all ratio is close to one, the event is independent in the group. That means that uh, is, uh, if a man barber is a disease, that uh, we have uh, uh, in the in the table, uh, in the previous table that we should show you earlier, we have uh, we can say that uh, if we, the all ratio is close to one, that uh, maybe uh, disease and sex and gender is are. Uh, independent so the, the if our, our group a group of uh, male and female we can say that uh, female uh, gender didn't uh, uh, significantly influence uh, the occurrence of the disease if we have the old ratio close to one but if you have uh, a contrary uh, old ratio that is superior to one we can say that the event is most frequent in the group A than in group B. That means that uh, belonging to the group E is a, is at risk. So uh, when while uh, the number uh, you tend to, to to belong to the group the group A, you you increase your probability to to have a disease if we take we, we stay in epidemiology uh, situation. And the other situation is when we have the odd ratio that is two higher than, than one. So that means that the event is hugely more frequent in group A than in group B. So we have only a case where the odd ratio is inferior to one. We can say that the event is less frequent in group E than B. What that means that when you uh, you are in group B, you tend not to to, to develop uh, the disease. And the last case in the case when uh, the all ratio is close to zero, so that means that uh, the, the, the the event is hugely less frequent in group A than in group B. So let's take um, an example of uh, to in order to illustrate uh, in practice how uh, we can use all ratio in order to to uh, to, to, to interpret a risk factor. We have a sample of uh, 200 individuals in which we have 100 men and 100 women that have drunk. Uh, wine in ongoing week so we define our uh, main variable that is alcoholic and uh, that is alcoholism so you are alcohol you are alcoholic if you you have drunk in, in this week while you have drunk in the previous week and you are non-alcoholic uh, I, I can just uh, tell you that uh, in our sample every person that we have selected have drunk in the ongoing week and the person that didn't drink in the previous week are supposed to be non-alcoholic that is why how we have defined our, our alcohol, alcohol alcoholism alcoholism so uh, in our sample we have 19 men that have also drink the last week that are alcoholic and also and only 10 on of the 100 men have not drunk on the previous uh, on the previous week and let's uh, look at uh, women population if you look at women population we can see that 20 women in our sample have drunk in the previous week among uh, 100 uh, women that have drink, drunk of the, of the uh, on the current of the current week, so we can uh, calculate the odd ratio, and we found that uh, odd ratio is 36. That means that being men is a risk factor of developing alcoholic factor. That 
also mean that uh, in the group of men, alcoholic is 36 times more higher than in the women population. That's all for this uh, tutorial on O ratio, and I hope it, it help you understand the usage of O ratio and its interpretation in uh, practice. In practice, so uh, very soon.